hope all is well with all of you. Um, yeah. Where I live right now, it's very smoky because of the fires. It's crazy smoky outside. Um, so I hope wherever you are, you're doing good and you're safe because the fires are really crazy. Um, yeah. Um, God just loves you a lot. I don't really have a specific message to really talk about. Um, I haven't really read the Bible yet today. I'm going to do that later. should have done it this morning. I didn't really have time. I was with friends at their house and everything. Busy, busy, busy. But that doesn't change the fact that God still loves me and still loves you. And... Obviously, he loves when you read the Bible and spend time with him, so that's very important. But when you don't, you don't have time, please don't be hard on yourself. Because I get like that a lot. Um, where I'm like, I have to read it, I have to do this. Ah. Someone's going to think I'm a bad Christian. Ah. People online are going to think, ah, I'm thinking it. I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not a perfect, perfect Christian. There is no per 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 perfect, perfect Christian. And we're all just doing our best. And God loves that. And he sees that. And he made all of us uniquely. And yeah, I just think we got to give ourselves a little bit more grace and be a bit more kinder to ourselves. Not be so hard on ourselves because God is not hard on us. Are you kidding me? Not at all. Like, he's the most gracious person I know. <laughs> he's awesome. So... I guess my encouragement to you is just to not be so hard on yourself. Um, spend time with God when you can. Make time for God. He is a priority. It's a choice every day to follow Jesus. Um, conscious choice. But also just please give yourself some grace and don't be like, Oh, I have to read the Bible for this amount of time. I have to read this verse. I have to say this length of prayer. I have to say these words in my prayer. I have to pray for this person. This like obviously it's your own personal relationship with God and if he's telling you to do some things be obedient to that um, but also it's a personal relationship you don't have to do what anyone else is doing I mean everyone else should read the Bible but I think you understand what I'm trying to say like you don't have to compare your walk with God to anyone else's because it's your walk with God your personal relationship and we have our own convictions we have our own ways of um, worship on the own, own times of reading the Bible. I like to read it in the morning. Some people like to read it at night. And that's perfectly fine. Whatever works for them. Whatever works for me. Whatever works for you. And it's your own personal relationship. And yeah. God's very gracious. And he loves you so much. And yeah. You're so beautiful. He's so beautiful. He's the best. And he'll never keep a record of wrong. And he's not down here judging you for every little thing. He's just like, whoa, that's my child. Oh, they sinned. They asked for forgiveness. Pfft, what did they sin about? I forgot already. Like, he just says he just loves you so much. It's uncomprehendable how much he loves you. I can't even fathom it all the times I forget that, like, his love is not worldly. It's just like he loves me so much. Um, it's incredible. He's just incredible. Um, yeah. It's okay. You're doing your best. I'm doing my best. It's okay. Um, it's okay. God sees you. He loves you. He's right there with you. You don't have to earn his love. Don't do this, this, and that to earn his love. He's just right there. He just loves you. <laughs> um, yeah. Surround yourself with Jesus. Talk to him. Spend some good time with him. And just be yourself. You don't have to try to make yourself be this really biblical person or really religious person and talk to God. Like, he sees you any time of day. He sees me right now. He sees me when I'm worshiping, when I'm praying, when I'm sinning. He sees me any and all times of the day. So just come as you are. Come as you are. He loves you as you are. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, come as you are. You don't have to be perfect. No one's perfect. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And he loves you so much. And yeah. Yeah. Thank you for being you. Thank you for taking time today to watch this video. 
I appreciate every single one of you so much. God is just so cool and we had a thousand subscribers. That's so surreal. I'm not gonna talk about it too much because I don't feel like that's what God wants to talk about. But I just wanna say thank you. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part and making prayers come true. Thank you. I love and appreciate you so much, and God loves and appreciate you so much more than I do. <laughs> no offense, but I can't love you as much as God loves you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just come as you are to God. You do not have to earn his love. You don't have to try to make yourself seem like a crazy religious person. You don't have to do that. Like come as you are he sees you nonetheless he loves you and nonetheless it's okay he sees you trying it's okay okay he loves you and god bless you have a wonderful rest of your day or a wonderful night or a wonderful morning thank you for watching goodbye